First of all, congratulations for the thank appointment. You, you, the Defense Ministry, and uh, we know that the Veterans Ministry is also now under that ministry. Yes, yes. What can we expect from you for this portfolio? Of course, uh, the only thing I can say is uh, to continue uh, building a professional, uh, disciplined, and all inclusive force. Uh, in doing that, you see, we are in achieving that objective, of course, we have to make sure you see that the troops are properly trained and educated. We have to make sure that um, uh, they have uh, the necessary equipment to perform their functions, and also to make sure that they have the necessary facilities from which to operate from. As you know, that uh, the Ministry of Defense is not doesn't interact directly with individual citizens. It's more a contingent force. So normally, what is expected of us is to be prepared for every eventuality. Mm. Maybe we can address the fact that uh, in the past when we had the operations, the Operation Kalahari or Operation Horan Crimes, there yes. have been uh, instances of death. And in these shooting incidents, for example, they were uh, it was by uh, uniformed officers, defense force members. What do you say to this? And what will you do to make sure that we do not have trigger-happy instances in the future? Well, I, it's not really trigger-happy. It's probably the issue of uh, uh, standing operating procedures. Okay, you know that uh, soldiers are by training not uh, police officers, they are trained uh, to shoot, but then of course what we think should have been done is that we should have probably had a prior proper training yeah, before the, the troops were deployed in those yeah. type of operations. Yeah. Uh, can you assure us then that if for future collaboration such as this, which is uh, uh, provided for by the Constitution, that we can definitely see the Ministry of Defense better prepare uh, the troops, as you're saying, before they hit the streets? Yes, yes. I mean, that's that's what we need to discuss with the Minister of uh, Home Affairs. And uh, I mean, uh, okay, I forgot the title a bit now yeah. because of the Twitter. Yes, yeah. something that we have to discuss with him and work out to see what modalities should be followed to make sure you see the troops are prepared for their deployment. Uh, thank you very yes, much, Rear General. Yeah. Thank okay, just much. one more question from my yes. side, yeah. um, Shinovene from the Namibian here. Yeah. There have been allegations of rife corruption for the, for years at, at, the, at the Ministry of Defense mm. uh, in terms of procurement and mm. others. Yes, sir, uh, Are you going to do anything regarding that concern? or Because, I mean, even up to two months ago, also last month, there were rife allegations in the, in the ministry which you think, were executive director. I think, I think those, are, those, are, those are what you call a selective reporting because uh, corruption is everywhere. But of course, it doesn't justify, you see, that uh, corruption should entertain the defense force. So we'll, through, we'll do everything to, our, I mean, our best to make sure that corruption is, uh, if wherever it appears, it is fought and then eradicated. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, uh, Regional, just before I let you go, the August 26 situation yes. that is happening, yeah. how are you planning on addressing it? And in fact, also Of course, we've already started reforms for August 26 industry. So the reform is in progress, and we try to make sure, you see, that uh, it's a successful completed within my term. Yes, it's one of the deliverables that I came from the His Excellency the President. And okay, can you tell us now that those who say that they've lost their jobs will not be on the streets? Of course, we are trying our best for people not to go on the street. But we should remember that uh, in the economy, there are a lot of participants in the economy. There are private companies also which have closed doors and people have gone in the street. Yeah, as much as we try to make sure you say that our people don't go on the street, some of this uh, would be un inevitable. So I cannot really guarantee that nobody will go on the street, but we we'll strive our best to make sure that nobody goes on the street. Okay, they've also, you, you spoke about reforms there. Uh, yes. The Minister of Defense, have, there have been concerns about the lack of transparency in the, in the companies owned by the Defense Force. For instance, we don't know their annual reports, yet they get money from the taxpayers. Are you also going to look at this? Or? <laughs> of course, of course. I mean, when you come within an institution, you find several types of documents. One says confidential, the other one says secret. That's because there are secret activities and also confidential activities. There are those activities that are open to the public, and those that are open to the public will make sure that it's shared with the public. But those that are confidential will make sure that they're kept confidential. But, but you're not answering my question. I'm as yes. asking, are you going to then mm. be transparent in making sure that these No, what I'm saying is transparency you are saying yes. I should open up, right? Yes. That's yes. what you mean. And mm -hmm. I'm saying there are certain aspects, you see, that cannot be opened up. Will you at least be giving the people basic information on how these companies yes, those, are run? Yeah, based, I mean, on need to know basis, yes. But I will not say anything that will jeopardize the preparedness of our nation to foreign, uh, what you call it, uh, foreign institutions. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much, yes. uh, Rio General. Right,